Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the dining feature to your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next under the edit test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the dining feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search dining. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you add it to feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added dining feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click this button here and you'll be redirected to the restaurant management section. Here you will find all your restaurants listed. Once you start adding them, for your ease, a dummy restaurant has already been added. If you want, you can edit it as per your needs. For now, let's add a new restaurant. Click on Add Restaurant and provide the required information. Once you are done adding the restaurant details, click on Save to continue. Now here, you will see your added restaurant. Let's now manage the menu for this restaurant. Click Manage Menu and you'll be redirected to the Categories section. Please note you'll need to add categories before you can start adding menus. Now click on Add Category and provide the required details. Once done, click on Save and here you will see your added category. You can check the categor category details. And if you want, you can add subcategories under this category by clicking the number count here or from the action options. Similar to the way we added categories, you can add subcategories too. Once done, you will see your added subcategories in this section. Now let's add products. Click on the products option here and then click on the add product button to add products or menus. Once you are done adding the product, click on save to continue. Now here you will see that your product has been added. You can check the details. Let's now go back to the restaurant management section. For this particular restaurant, you will see different options like manage menu, manage orders, settings, import, export, and sales report. You can manage these options from here, or you can manage them from the side menu by selecting the particular restaurant. Now click on manage waiter in the side menu. In this section, you'll find all your added waiters. By default, a dummy waiter has been added, which you can edit as per your needs. Let's now add a new waiter. Click on this button here and provide the necessary details. Once you are done adding the waiter details, click on save. Here you will see your added waiter details. Now let's move ahead and move on to the manage orders. Under this first section in order history, here you will find all the orders that have been placed by the customers. You can click on the order ID link here to view the complete order details. Next is the track order section. All the orders that are, are on, ongoing in transit or complete will be visible in this section. You can easily track the life status of the order starting from the processing phase to the completion phase of the live dashboard. Next up is the abundant, abandoned order section. In this section you will find the abandoned orders and details and you can perform actions as per your needs. Now let's move ahead and check out the general settings for the dining feature. The general settings are further categorized into configuration settings, language settings, cuisines, coupons, and CMS pages. First, let's check out the configuration settings. From here, you can select a particular restaurant to configure the settings for a particular restaurant, or you can select the administrator option to configure global settings for all the restaurants added to the dining feature. Now here you will see two tabs, example, store information and payment details. Under store information, you can edit and update the general information and configure settings for the dining future. Once you are done configuring the settings, click on save to continue. Now click on the payment details tab. From here, you can integrate different payment methods into the dining future. Once you are done configuring the payment details, click on save. Coming to the language settings. Under language settings, you will find all the alerts, text, and messages display on the dining future. You can change the text as per your needs and once done, click on save to continue. Next is the cuisine section. Here you will find all the predefined cuisines listed. Click this button here to add a new cuisine. 
enter the cuisine name, set the status, and click Save Cuisine to add a new cuisine. Now hover over the region here and click on three dot icon to edit cuisine, activate the activate cuisine, or delete the cuisine. Next up is coupons. In this section you can add and manage coupons. Click on the add new coupon button here and provide the necessary details. Once you are done with the changes, click on save and your added coupon will be listed here. Come into the CMS page section. Here you can add terms and conditions and privacy policy for the dining future. Now let's move on to the import export section. From this section, you can import and export product listings. Select the restaurant from the drop-down to import export product listing. With the import option, you can add multiple products in a single go by uploading a CSV file. Also, you can directly export the created product listing in the CSV or Excel format. Next up is sales report. In this section, you can view the complete sales history of the orders made. Come into the review section. Here you will find all the reviews posted by the users. Let's now go back and change the layout and color scheme of the dining future. Click on this color padded icon to change the future style and color scheme. Select your desired layout from the options and explore the future elements. Select the color, font sizes, and indent and also choose to show or hide images. From here you can enable a back navigation button on the futures header. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this future. Click the in-app settings icon in the sign menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon here and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you are done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.